Miss Martha has a very fluffy butt. We like fluffy butt chickens. For a couple years now, I have wanted to share my farm on this video channel in ways that are less focused on how to but I got wrapped up in this idea that everything had to be straightforward how to if I didn't have a subject to share with you I felt like I couldn't share with you I gotta put Jack out to graze while we talk about chickens and he's a mess eat your grass you are gross I always wanted this to be a little more of a storyline something that you could follow along follow my journey I've said it's a journey, but I haven't always treated it like a journey. Tonight, I actually have one subject to talk to you about. The question often asks, what kinds of chickens do you have on your farm? Tonight, we're gonna answer it. the geese away because they're too loud. I need to talk about chickens. Come on, geese. You going? What is this one again? This is a silver lace Wyandotte. Woo, sorry, sorry, sorry. Hold on. Hold on. Everything's a mess right now. That's why their beaks and their feet are covered in mud because we've had a lot of rain. Right now it's sunny. Earlier this morning there was so much rain you couldn't even see. Most of our birds are dual purpose birds, which means that they are bred to lay eggs and also they're large enough that you could use them for meat if you wanted to. This is a light Brahma. In fact, this light Brahma is Miss Martha. She's one of the few in the main flock that has a name. Miss Martha has a very fluffy butt. We like fluffy butt chickens. She's also one of them that has the black and white combination that we love. The light Brahma is slightly larger than the silver lace Wyandotte. The light Brahma not only has a fluffy butt, she has fluffy feet. Isn't that right, Miss Martha? When we first moved to the farm, there were 12 chickens here. 12 chickens came with our house. This is one of the original 12. We've been here now over five years, and the previous owners had these chickens for at least two years. So this Buff Orpington is at least seven years old. She's laid a lot of eggs, and she's looked really good doing it. Good job, girl. You've done great. This is a Rhode Island Red. Some people call them production reds. We have found that the Rhode Island Red is a very good bird for a farm like ours. They're very hardy, very durable. They lay lots of eggs and they always find their nest box. Some of the chickens like to lay in different areas on the farm, but it seems like the reds, they like to go back to their nest box. The Rhode Island Red is a dual purpose bird, again, meaning that they are bred for meat and eggs. Now, we don't eat the Rhode Island Reds, but they do produce very tasty brown eggs. This red has a name, and her name is Paprika. Whoop, easy girl. When we first moved to the farm, there was a Rhode Island Red here with the name of Helena. She was one of our favorite chickens because she actually liked to be held. She would come and look for us and jump into our lap so that she could be held and petted. Most of the chickens now don't like that as much. Paprika puts up with it pretty well. Don't you, girl? I like these because they're a heritage breed. This is a barred rock. We love the barred rocks because they just look like a heritage breed chicken. They look like the type of chicken that's been on farms for hundreds of years. The barred rock lays beautiful brown eggs as well. I really wish we were doing this filming when things were a little cleaner, but the farm is muddy and we gotta get this done. The white chickens don't hold their beauty very well because they get pretty dirty really easily. This right here is a hybrid. This was bred here on the farm. This girl here, this is one that I call the Spangled Leghorn because it's a hybrid chicken. The mother hen is a white leghorn and the father, rooster, was a Spangled Hamburg. We lost him to a predator, but we do have this one chick to carry on his legacy. Isn't that right, girl? Another hen that we have on the farm is the Americana. There's several of these and they all have slightly different coloring. They have these cute little tufts on their cheeks and they lay bluish to greenish eggs. Another common name Another common name for the Americana is the Easter Egger because they do lay eggs that are not typical colors. And he got out, now all he wants to do is crow. Well, if you can catch that black rooster, that would be good. 
This white leghorn is the mama to that little white hybrid. The white leghorn is a wonderful chicken for egg production. What I find is that they just tend to be a little bit crazy. If they were people, they would be the ones in Walmart wearing their pajamas. And she's pooping on my shoe. One of the wonderful things about the white leghorn around here, people call them leghorns, is that they lay a lot of white eggs. They are known to be one of the highest producers of eggs. Thank you for your eggs. This is another one of the hybrids that we've produced on the farm. The rooster for this one, the father, is the black Cornish. That's a purebred black Cornish rooster. We believe the mama hen is a barred rock because it came from an egg that we think was from a barred rock and it makes sense based on her body type. This hybrid was more of an accident where the white one was more planned. You turned out all right. I think you're okay. <laughs> I do have to be careful when I'm picking red up. This is Big Red. He's our big Freedom Ranger. Those are spurs actually, not talons. Those spurs, if he wanted to, he could turn around and hurt me pretty bad with those. But so far, so far, he has been a very gentle rooster. He tolerates us very well, which is good. He has very big combs and wattles. This is a comb, this is a wattle. When I purchased a bunch of Freedom Rangers to raise for meat, I selected the biggest, prettiest rooster, this guy, named him Big Red, and I'm using him to breed more of the same chickens. Living in here with the goats are three Freedom Ranger hens, I selected the biggest, fattest hens to live with Big Red so I could breed the biggest, fattest Freedom Ranger birds for meat production here on the farm. <laughs> now the silkies, they are our jewels. I think as far as looks go, the silkies are our favorites. The silkies are very fluffy. They have these nice little top hats. Generally, they're very calm and friendly birds. They have blue earlobes and dark skin and feathery feet. Their skin is actually a dark blue or purple, or some people say they are black-skinned chickens. They come in a variety of colors. Ours range from nearly all white to these light buff colors to these very pretty copper colors. They lay a lot of eggs too, but generally their eggs are very small. We don't sell the silky eggs because they're very small. We use them for ourselves in our own kitchen. Usually it takes two to three silky eggs to equal one nice large normal chicken egg. The silkies tend to go broody as well, which means that they like to sit on eggs and hatch chicks. We've used them to hatch other breeds of chickens because they just like to sit on them. And when they hatch, they're very good mamas, very good nannies for any chick that gets hatched on the farm. When we first got to the farm, we liked to count the chickens and name the chickens and get really close like pets. But over the years, because of the predators that have taken chickens, it's hard to lose a pet. So we've kind of withdrawn from being that close to the chickens. We don't name them so much anymore. We do appreciate them. We still love them. We still care for them. But we're a little more disconnected now that we know that we're going to lose some to predators every now and then. We have two fresh baby silkies in the brooder here. This is the brooder that I built for babies to live on the back porch. And they are just beautiful. You can't see that jet probably, but you can hear it. It's been a very noisy evening. Whenever it's that noisy, I get a little frustrated when I'm trying to record, because it's just hard to hear yourself. Thank you. Hey Chevy, will you watch my shoes for me? Don't let Pumpkin have them. Thanks, Kitty. 